Hey guys, it's Michelle and today I am doing items I've used up for the month-ish and we're just gonna get started and um we're just gonna get started. The first thing that I used up was this tiny True Rose from Yankee Candle. I really love this one. It's very romantic and very mood setting so that's why this one's one of my favorites and these little guys believe it or not actually burn for a fairly long time. This one Burn time is 25 to 40 hours, so you can't beat that. I mean, these last a very long time, and they don't take up a lot of space, which is what I like about them. And I always take, when I'm done with them, I always put them on one of those um, wax burners or those candle warmers to get the last bit of scent out of them. So, Because I was trying to do projects with those particular candle jars, and I wasn't having much luck with them. I did a few, and I'm not happy with how they came out. Um, you'll see pictures of them on my Mermaid Couture page and on my, uh, I did, I have one of them listed on Etsy that is really cute, but, uh, the cupcake jars I think look nicer. Next, I used up this little guy. This is Fresh Balsam. I love the green glass. This really doesn't need much. I think it stands alone beautifully <sighs> once it's clean. But Fresh Balsam is just a beautiful wintry scent. You can't go wrong with that one. Next is, which one is this guy here? Can't even read what it was. I butchered this guy. Oh, this is Stardust. Mm hmm. Mm. For some reason, this one, it was the white uh, star Baltastic from Lush uh, for Christmas this year. The name Stardust just reminds me of Ziggy Stardust, makes me think of David Bowie. Mm -mm. This one, it has a very unusual smell. There's definitely vanilla in it. What else? Rosewood. Okay, I could see that. That's all I'm reading. There's something else there. I mean, you get the rosewood, you get the woody scent to it, and the sweetness of the vanilla, but there's also a musk in there somewhere. Mm. But it's really nice. That one's not bad. Next, I have this little... The Pampery Cupcake Bath Fizz. You guys know I use these um, well, fairly regularly. I bought a bunch of them from Walmart when they were on clearance for Christmas. They were originally a dollar. And the top of the cupcake, if you've been on my Instagram, you've seen pictures of them. The bottom is the Bath Fizzer. It's not lush quality, but it's not bad. And the top of it is a piece of soap. And I use that soap actually as a shaving soap for my legs, and it works out really well. So it actually saves you a little bit of money as far as shave cream. I'm actually thinking about making a switch I'm trying to figure out ways of saving more money, and I'm going to be doing a video on that as well. But this is one of those things that I've been doing because it was so cheap. It has a piece of soap on it. I don't normally use that kind of soap for my body, but it works great as a shaved soap. So that's what I've been using with this guy. To that side. Next, this was a Smitten Bath Bomb in Sugar Brulee. I got this for like a dollar at a... I think it was Silver 27, the name of the store, where I get my, well, where I bought, I only bought one Alex and Annie from them. My, my anchor Alex and Annie I bought from them. And this was really nice. It wasn't, again, it was kind of on the same lines. Actually, the quality, I'm glad I only paid a dollar for this because it was similar to the quality of the Walmart one. But it did have a beautiful scent. It was definitely more fragrant than the Walmart one. But as far as fizzy time, it wasn't that great. But I'm not going to complain for a dollar. Next... Oh, I have two. Wow. And they're on top of each other. That never happens. I'm probably going to have to do a part two because we might have to do a part two. Next, I have, I did this with the uh, buy one, get one free thing. The fresh, fresh in, fresh out that Lush does. These were Dashing Santa and they smell like Satsuma Santa if you're familiar with him. Oh my gosh, it has like this orange Pez scent. There's bergamot oil, which I love. Orange flower. Those are really the only things I'm seeing on here. This one I really ruined. Bergamot and orange flower. I love bergamot. It's one of my favorite scents. And probably the reason why I love Lush so much, I think they put bergamot is in a lot of their stuff. Oh, it smells so, so good. I really love this one. This was a new one, I think, this year. I was actually really disappointed as far as um, 
what was released this year. They had some great new releases that was amazing. But how do you not release the Christmassy bubble bar? How do you not do that? That's like a cult favorite. I don't know a single girl on here that doesn't love that. So I was really upset that that wasn't released. And I wish, and I it was only out one year. But I really wish it would make a comeback. And that's the Jilted Elf bath jelly. By far my favorite bath jelly yet. A close second is definitely the one that was released this year, Santa Belly. But, uh... If any of you, comment down below if you were one of the lucky ones that got to experience Jilted Elf. Was it not amazing? It truly, truly was. So that's the Dashing Santas. I love Jilted Elf. I actually have an empty bot, like, canister from it that I won't return for a fresh face mask because I like to sniff it. Is that weird? It's weird. I don't care. Next was this container. This was actually from a local... It's not local. It's actually a couple hours away. But it's one of those stores where all the people who work there are volunteers. It's a type of farmer community place. But you go there, you buy things, and you support your local uh, community. And these were Dead Sea Salts. And they were really... It was a really good price. So we, I used that. I need to go back and get more of it because I love Dead Sea Salt. It is very beneficial for your skin. And it was way cheaper than those... Those places in the mall that they sell the Dead Sea Salt, I love them, I've used them, they're great, but extremely expensive. I know I have to, I really love them because they smell so great. They have a tea oil scented one that's amazing. And I know I should go and get it, but they're so crazy expensive and those guys are just, um, they're kind of pushy salespeople and I'm not really into pushy salespeople. If you know me, you know I'm not into that. But uh, on to the next, shall we? Next, I have this. I got this from Big Lots, and it was actually really good. This is Lady Speed Stick. I haven't found that one deodorant that just is like, wow to me. So I keep looking. Uh, this one was, it doesn't say the sun, it just says Invisible Dry. It has a very nice light. It's not a baby powder scent, which I feel like most of them are. This is almost like a floral. It's like a, a it's kind of like Dancing Waters from Bath & Body Works mixed with a little floral. Ah! We smell that the rest of the day now. But not bad. This lasted me a very long time. Considering the size, it's a very small one compared to the ones I normally get. It was only $1.45. I wasn't disappointed with it. I always like trying out over at Big Lots because sometimes you find one. I've done it with a few products where I found things that I wouldn't normally have tried out, but because they were so cheap, I picked it up. And I ended up really liking them, so that's what I love about them. This, I thought I was going to love it. I really did, but I was kind of disappointed because I do like this company's uh, traditional scented one. This is Sat Satya. These are the ones that traditionally make the non-champa. Are we bouncing or is that just me? We are kind of moving. We're going to have to do a part two, guys, because I don't want us to have, like, this motion sickness thing. So I'll be right back, okay? Okay. 